Now, the Supreme Court says that indiscriminate arrests create an impression of police state and that is not how things should work in a democracy. The court has asked the center to consider framing a law or bail act to streamline the release of the accused. It emphasized that bail should be the rule and jail should be the exception. It has also sought the status report from high courts across the country on under trial prisoners. The Supreme Court made these observations on Monday during a judgment in a case related to the arrest of a man by the CBI. All right, Sukirti is now joining us with more details. Sukirti, I understand that the Supreme Court, even in the past, has uh, observed that bail should be the norm and jail an exception. Then why is it that it wants to underline this fact again? Uh, well, somewhere or the other, Maha, what has happened is that the Supreme Court seems to have uh, observed a certain pattern that despite all of these guidelines already being put in place, despite the Supreme Court reiterating all of these issues, the investigative agencies in the country as well as the police forces of various states do not seem to be following those rules. And that is what led uh, to the Supreme Court making these observations. In fact, it was the arrest of a man by CBI. It was that particular case on whose judgment uh, uh, the Supreme Court made these ob observations while passing that judgment. And that is what led the Supreme Court to say that uh, bail, bail should become the rule and jail should be the exception. We cannot have indiscriminate arrests that create the impression of a police state because this is a democracy. You cannot... Uh, convey an impression that is going to be absolutely and polar opposite of that and that is why they've also now sought uh, beyond these you know observations they've also sought concrete uh, uh, consequences in terms of asking all of the high courts across the country to produce status reports on all under trials across the country who are unable to comply with bail conditions because the supreme court had uh, also spoken about how many of these under trials are illiterate many of these are women complying with bail conditions, even applying for bail, all of those are very complicated uh, processes for many of these under trial prisoners. Uh, but in order to resolve the situation, one needs to have a status report. So first, we need to get the statistics in place and then uh, the guidelines and the framework can be decided. The center should consider a bail act framing a law so that the release of accused can be streamlined. Uh -huh. So, Kirti, many thanks uh, for giving us the details as to why the Supreme Court has thought it's necessary now to underline the fact that bail should be the norm and jail an exception.